We have a mid-April showdown in store for you. We'll see the Florida Marlins as they play against the Philadelphia Phillies. It's the MLB on 2K Sports. You're looking at the bell with the crack in it here in Philadelphia and Citizens Bank Park in Philly is where we are. The Philadelphia Phillies, always eager to play in front of their home crowd, will do so today. I'm Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crook with me, Major League Baseball 2K Sports. Our starting pitcher for Philadelphia. So Steve, conscious of this Florida lineup, what's on his mind? Well, the good right-handed pitcher on the mound right here facing this lineup that can score some runs. It's going to be critical for him to keep the ball down to the zone and pitch to his capabilities. If he does that, he should have success. We'll take a moment to look at the Marlins lineup. Okay, this is what I call a circular lineup. Stars really throughout the lineup, they're all the same. They hit for average, hit for power, drive in runs, really star studded throughout. And Bell's in the box. Last night, Marlins picked up the win. They'd like to bring out the Brooms here tonight, hoping to sweep 3 0 against the Phillies. Well, and this is a team that's playing great baseball oh. right now. No one playing better than them in the major leagues. And a ball to get us underway. Good way to look at how a club's doing is look at that last 10 column when you read the paper in the morning. You'll see 8-2 and two for these guys. Well, and you'll take that any time of the season, whether it be in the beginning, the middle, or the end. Let's just see if they can keep this run going. One away. A chance to check out the Phillies here. Here's how they look defensively. And how do you like who's out there, John? Well, Chase Utley's a guy that's never been known for his glove, and he's had to put a lot of work into making himself a good second baseman in Major League Baseball, and that's what he's done. Still struggles, though, with the backhand play, and sometimes can get erratic with his throwing, but he's really made great improvements in those areas. Lloyd at the plate. One out, nobody on. Here it comes. Line foul towards third. Here's the pitch. Played by Utley. On to first, two away. Be sure to tune in again this Saturday. It's going to be Sean Figgins and the Los Angeles Angels. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. You can watch all the action starting at 4 o'clock Eastern. Hey, Gary, do you think John will buy us dinner in town that time we go watch that ball game? Here's Gibson now with an opportunity at the plate. Two outs and nobody on. Line towards first. And that one's going to drop in. That'll be our first hit of the game. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit, and who knows what can happen after that. And the cleanup man stands in. A runner on first with two outs. The pitch. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. At the belt, the 1-0. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. And Hamilton's going to play it. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. First look, Philadelphia Bats coming right up. And we'll take a look at the starting pitcher for Florida. And as he gets going against these Philadelphia hitters, what do you think's in store? Uh, pitching's the key to win any ball game, and with their quality right-hander on the mound today, that's going to be a key as well against this outstanding lineup. He's going to have to execute his pitches to get the outs. on the way and Hamilton watches that one outside Williams with the windup that one's wide of the mark and it's three and all 
Uh, the pitcher can't find the zone right here, but I'm still giving my hitter the green light. I think he has enough discipline to get a good pitch and try to drive it. Ball and four. that's ball four, and that's going to put a runner on to maybe start an offensive inning. Well, that's a bad omen for a pitcher. Lead off base on ball, sure indication of where his control is. This is how the Phillies are lining up. In our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, consistency is what you're looking for. Let's chase Utley. Guys is a proven run producer, a proven power hitter, can hit for average, runs the bases with great abandon, one of the best in baseball. He's a complete player and a manager's dream. Hamilton's your runner at first base. Williams with the windup. And he squares around, gets down the bunt. Williams over the first for out number one. Well, that's outstanding bat control right there. He catches the ball on the bat, lays the bunt down nicely. Art of bunting has gone away in large part in this game, but not there. Why managers love these types of role players. Great season, top ten in RBI. And he lays off one that's right down the middle. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Ball. Chase Huntley not fooled by that pitch. Count is even. I saw the ball well last night, picking up two base hits in that game. Spins checks him at second. There's a swing and a line drive. One. On to second. Safe there. So they get the one out. Now we'll take a quick look at the Marlins and how they take the field on defense. Two outs and a runner on second. And it's 0 and 1. Williams gets him looking there. A nice four seamer right there. That one's clearly on the outside corner. He hit the spot. Ball. Missed badly with a the fastball there. 1 and 1. Let's take it low for a ball, two and one. Head up the middle, into center field for a base hit. Hamilton's gonna try and score here, and he's in there. Well, you always feel really good when you can drive in a run for your team. But especially in the first inning, it sets the tone for the rest of the game. And in the batter's box, it's Allen. And some production being seen in this game early. They've got a chance now to extend the lead. And Gary, you can never underestimate the importance of an early lead. It can allow the pitcher to go right at the hitters and pitch with confidence. You've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going. I think, Gary, keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. And it drops the base hit. 
Eastern Division standings starting to take shape here in April. Here in our State Farm standings board. First place, the Marlins. It's the Mets in second. Third spot, Phillies. Fourth place, the Braves. And the bottom dwellers, the Washington Nationals. Well, Florida Marlins got off to a great start this season. And certainly a bit surprising if they can sustain it. But so far, they have to feel good about themselves. And it's Ryan Howard now. Looking back to last season, it was a, a 2.59 average against the Marlins. Two men on and two men out. Didn't look like he was going anywhere. Gets back easily. Williams with the windup. Ball. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. The 1-0 now. Fastball, Jess misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Swing and a drive, deep left center. That one's grabbed, side retired. Nice way to get things started in this one. Philadelphia is leading one to nothing. Thought it might be cloudy tonight. You know what, the stars are overhead here at Citizens Bank Park. Sinker's in there, no balls on the strike. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. On the way. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. And A swing line to left center. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning, and that's exactly what he did with that double. It's going to be Johnson now. Base runner at second with nobody out. Here's the pitch. Headed for the middle. And it's through. Credit Johnson, single. Got to try to make it home here. And he comes home. That's it. We are tied. Well, with one run already crossed the board and nobody out, this has the potential of being a really big inning. Let's see if they can string some hits together. And it's Smith batting. Oh, a great job by this lineup. They have really put the production on here. Uh, Gary, that was a great piece of hitting right there. It allowed them to pull it even here early in the game. Nice response. A runner on first, no outs. Ball. Fastball just misses. 1-0. And you get a feeling early on this uh, ball game is up for grabs. This could be anybody's. Well, it's certainly going to be a battle. I don't think there's any question about that. And you have to keep it close, especially with this guy on the mound. That's why this at bat is critical. Oh. Sinker just off the black falls behind 2-0. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. Johnson's headed to third. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, anytime you have two hits in a game, it will build confidence. And he's carrying it over into this game. And it's the number nine spot. Runners at the corners with no one out. 
First pitch is a sinker too low, 1-0. and Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there, but the hitter wouldn't chase it. Ready with a 1-0. That one swung on, hit in the air deep to left field. And Hamilton's going to play it. He has to back up for it. Here comes Johnson for the plate. And Johnson scores. Big run right there. Good productive situational hitting. Finding a way to get that runner in. That's what contact does for you. Leonard in the box now. Well, Steve, they needed to take the lead, and they've come through just as we thought they might. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, Gary, we just saw quality at bat right there. He got the job done. When he got his pitch, he knew what to do with it, and he delivered. Runner at first with one down. Here's the pitch. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0 and 1. As Ralph Kiner, our old buddy, used to say, you know, good at bats is one where you get production, and that's what they got right there. Yeah, but he's also the guy who said you can't win the game unless you take the lead. Ball. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Line shot into center field, and that gets through for a base hit. Boy, what an opportunity here for Florida. Great hitting or poor pitching, I'm not sure which. He may be running out of gas, but that's now four straight hits against him. Not looking real good. And the upcoming schedule for the Phillies. Tonight, a final game with Florida. Following that, they face Prince Fielder in a series at home against the Brewers. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And they'll take on the Padres and the big bat of Adrian Gonzalez. Great series there. Runners on first and second with one out. First pitch, here it comes. Fastball in there for a called strike. He looked like he was ready to swing that time at the plate, Gary, but he must have been looking for a different pitch as that fastball just paints the outside corner. He delivers. A sinker misses, one and one. Fouled away. Oh. The pitch. I don't know how you lay off that sinker, but it's 2 2. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. The 3-2 pitch. You're Fastball. Up. Got him looking. Two down. Well, what are you looking at? With two strikes, you've got to be thinking fastball. He got it, and he got it right down the middle. Pull the trigger. Come on. Well, we've got a moment to look back here at the Florida Marlins and how they fared last year. Third in triples, fourth in doubles, and they were in the top ten in home runs. That ability to drive the ball really paid dividends for this team's offense. Two down. Runners at first and second. The first pitch. Oh, and he lays off one low, 1-0. One Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. The 1-0 pitch. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. And Hamilton's going to play it. 
And he's there to retire the side. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Marlins jump out ahead in this one. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. Leadoff man in the box. And Williams no luck with that pitch upstairs. Here's the pitch. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by. 1-0-1. Now that he's gotten the four-seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. One one on the way. One one pitch, fastball. That's going to be low. Two and one. Two one pitch to right center. Catch is made. Now our State Farm sponsored look at which teams went the yard most last year. The Reds number one. Second, the Brewers. In third, the D-backs. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, this team lives and die with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark. And they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power and depth throughout this lineup that every one of these guys can hurt you. Right there for a called strike on one. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. Strike two. Swung on the fastball, couldn't get to it, 0-2. That fastball up and away, it's awfully tough to catch up with it because you want to try to hit it deeper in the zone and go the other way, and before you know it, it's by you. Fastball got him two down. But when you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. Oh, we've got a moment to take a look at the Philadelphia Phillies. Last year, let's see how they ranked. Second at runs scored, fourth in triples, and they also utilized the stolen base. In the top five in stolen bases in the league, they understand that they just can't wait for the long ball or the extra base hit. Sometimes you have to make things happen, and they did it with a stolen base. Starts him off with one in there for a strike. The pitch. 0-1 oh, is a fastball inside. That'll even the count at one. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. Deep down the line and right. Into the corner, likely extra bases. He's going to head for third. And he'll stop at third. That's a three-bagger. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double. Put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. And we're going to see Hamilton here. And he steals off, and then he gets away with it. He's one of the league's best. Two outs and a runner on third. Williams with a windup. Right. Hamilton watches it for a strike. Now, Gary, one of the things I really like to watch about him is his speed, that ability to impact the game on the bases. You love to see him get on and then wonder if he's going to go. Williams, 0-1 delivery. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. And that's going to do it. Bell there. They pick up no runs on a hit, stranding a man at third base. Marlins still enjoying this lead. Here's Gibson now with an opportunity at the plate. He'll get things going here in the third. Now the first pitch. 
Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Here's the 1-0. Fouled off. Foul. Here it comes. Sinker just off the black, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, It's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. Two one right on the way. Two one delivery of fastball taken for a call strike two. Well, the pitcher is executing his game plan. He knows these hitters. He knows how he wants to pitch them, and now he's locating his pitches in exactly the right spot. This one's grounded to second. Utley fields it, and he throws on to first for the out. What a way! A well hit ball. The second baseman easily takes care of it, though. Throws it over. This guy makes it look easy. And the number seven batter in the box. Flew out last time. One out. Base is empty. First pitch to him. Swing shoots this one towards the gap. Right center. And it's in there. That hitting streak continues. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Well, this could be the start right here that this offense needed in this inning. A nice double right there with only one away. This could ignite this offense and possibly big things could happen. One on, one out. And here's the first one. Ball. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. One on oh. At the belt, the one oh. There is a swing and a liner. Oh. And a good throw gets him two down. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to scoring. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. On the way. Sinker drops in for a called strike. A strike or no strike, he's asking for trouble up there. Sinker called strike. Now 0 and 2. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. Ball. Low and it's 1 and 2. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there, but the hitter wouldn't chase it. Fastball low for a ball, two and two. Sinker misses, and it's full, three and two. Swing and lined up the middle. And it's in there. Florida to score. Now pitcher making a mistake right here. Leaving it right over the heart of the plate. He squares it up. Drives it. Good contact at the plate to drive in a run. Most of those kind of pitchers are going to get hit. That's an RBI knock. And it's Smith batting. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. 
Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. Some quality at bats right now and taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch. Swing and a miss on the ball, probably out of the zone. And it may be early going. They've got a chance to maybe put this ball game away and put a little defeatism on the other side. Well, what I really like is their approach at the plate. They're waiting for their pitch, and when they get it, they're driving it, taking advantage of every mistake the pitcher's making. Taps this one foul off to the left. The one two on its way. A swing and a foul off to the right side. Well, he came inside there at that one two pitch, had him set up to strike him out. Great piece of hitting. That defensive approach keeps him alive. You're out. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. So they score once on two hits, one man left. The Marlins lead this one by two. Number seven man at the plate. Williams with the windup. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike, 0 2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. You're fastball up. swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. Good velocity on that. You can get away with making some mistakes at that kind of number. Well, he just looked overpowered on those two fastballs. John thought the uh, timing that time just didn't seem to be there in the at bat. Well, and a, and a strikeout like that will give the pitcher a lot of confidence. Now to the plate. Here's Chase Huntley. Well, you remember, guys, in 2009 when the Philadelphia Phillies went to the World Series and lost to the New York Yankees, Chase Huntley put on a power show like no other in the history of the World Series. Sadly, though, he couldn't pitch for the Phillies, and they lost that series to the Yankees. He waited on that first pitch and took it. It's 1-0. Oh. You know what uh, John was talking about in 09 in that World Series? Five home runs in the series. That tied a Major League record. Well, unfortunately for him in 2010, the playoff production not nearly what it had been previously. Only going 4 for 22 against that tough Giants pitching staff. One-one pitch. Lined hard down the left field line. That gets down. That'll put him on. The tying run up. On tap for the Marlins. This Philadelphia series wraps up tonight. They'll be traveling tomorrow. They'll head home to match up against the Pirates. That's a three-game series. After that, they'll be playing host to the Rockies and the veteran bat Todd Helton. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. So a lot of home games on the way. The fans will have a chance see their guys many times over the next couple of weeks. Schmidt at the plate. Had a base hit his last time up. One out man on first. Here's the first pitch. And it's 0-1. Williams gets him looking there. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball in the outside corner. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That's the second out. State Farm leaderboard recaps the biggest group of thieves last year in the league. Number one, the Mets. Second, the Padres. In third, the Nationals. Phillies fourth. It's the Astros, number five.
but there's nothing like the stolen base. To me, as a guy who couldn't steal a lot of bases, it is still fun for me to watch because I love watching these guys, the way they tinker with the pitcher, the way they make the pitcher work, and that cat and mouse game between them, the pitcher, and the catcher, about pitch outs and everything else, makes it so exciting to watch. And this team, one of the best in the league last year at stealing bases. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. Fastball called strike 2 and 1. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Takes a swing at that fastball, but doesn't make contact, and it goes even at two. He just rears back and throws this one with a little something extra on it. No chance of putting it in play. And here's the pitch. Three and fastball two. is low that time. The count runs full. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. It's fouled off. No throw. He goes in standing up. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, after a long epic battle, this at bat ends in a walk. Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. Now, two outs in the inning, you put the tying run on base with a base on balls. Not what you want to do because that also means the guy at the plate is the go-ahead run. Big mistake. Two men on and two men out. And now Howard gets set. And it's 0-1. Williams gets him looking there. And, Steve, what he's got to do now, you want to get this final out right here. Oh, you've got to be very careful right here. You know, you don't want to say, hey, I walked again. Let me throw one right over the plate and get ahead because the hitter was sitting on a pitch down the middle. Right and down. it's 0-2. Ryan Howard, he'll be swinging at anything close here. Well, that's right down the chute. The hitter must have been looking for something else. Otherwise, you have to swing at that. Here's the delivery. Ball. Fastball is up high, then it's one and two. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. The one-two pitch. Ball. Good eye by Ryan Howard. Lays off that one, and we're even. Two two pitch. Howard grounds it, and Johnson in position. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. The Marlins still out in front. Their number two spot at the plate. He's going to get us started here in the fourth. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. One oh delivery is a fastball in there. One one. He delivers. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. Swung on, line to right field. That looks like a single. 
All right, takes this one-two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit. When you're behind in the count, you just want contact, and he got it. Leonard in the box. He's one for one so far. No one out and a runner on first. First pitch on the way. That catches the outer part of the plate for a strike. Here's the pitch. Here's a sinker that misses, 1-1. Here's the delivery. Swing and a line drive. That's one. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. And Bell's in the box. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Runner at first with one down. And here's the first one. Popped into foul territory down the left side. That's two gone. Lloyd at the plate now. Last time up, flew out. A runner on first with two outs. The first pitch. Strike Starts one. him off with a pitch on the outside corner. Strike one. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary. Hitting his spots and with great velocity. Pitch on the way. Smash towards the hole. The opportunity for offense is right now. Well, when the hitter stepped up the plate, the last place he expected to get a hit from a pitch was one inside off the plate. How he swung at it, how he got the bat on it, unbelievable job. No one will know that. Good job of hitting. Two down. Runners at first and second. First pitch, here it comes. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Here's the pitch. Strike Called one. strike on the outside corner, and it's 1-1. One one. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. Hard ground at a short. Number double zero. Throws on the first side is retired. No runs with a couple of hits and two left on. And it'll be the Philly. And it rolls around to the top again. He'll lead it off here. Bottom half of the fourth. And the first pitch. And Williams, no luck with that pitch upstairs. Taps this one foul to the right. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And his throw gets him one away. Now the State Farm leaderboard, uh, look at those teams who had the highest average last year. The Reds number one, the Cardinals in second, the Rockies third, fourth the Brewers, 
And number five, the Phillies rounded up. One of the top hitting teams in baseball last year will be on display in this game today. And these guys, when they step out of the dugout, they're swinging the bats. These guys can put the ball in play, and they all hit for a high average. Base is empty, one out. And the first pitch. Back up the middle. He caught it. Oh, that was headed right from the pitcher. Good, quick reaction. He got it. That's some kind of play by the pitcher right there. You release the ball. You think, maybe I can take a little bit of a break. The ball comes right back at you. He got his glove up and made the out. Base is empty and two down. He deals down the left field line. Rolling into the corner. That's going to be extra bases. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. You'll take getting on base any time, any inning. It just doesn't matter. And here with this double, maybe it's a chance to get a two-out rally started. And we're going to see Hamilton here. And the National League pitchers have to deal with him with the base pass. He's near the top in steals. Runner on second and two outs. And the first pitch. And it's 0-1. Williams gets him looking there. Look, Gary, with his speed, he's the kind of guy that could bunt for a base hit, even with two outs, and then try to steal himself in the scoring position. Spins on a throw behind the runner. Checks him at second. And they don't want to forget about him over there, but he's back easily. The pitch... Gets the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. All the pressure on the hitter right now, he knows that he has to protect the plate in order not to strike out. Oh. And Hamilton watches that one outside. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Williams with the windup. Trying to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. Hamilton watches it low for a ball. Black fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Lost him. Ball four. Potential ball four. tying run is on. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. At the plate, their rookie first baseman. Now, two outs in the inning. You put the tying run on base with a base on ball. Not what you want to do because that also means the guy at the plate is the go-ahead run. Big mistake. Now the first pitch. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he scores. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. First pitch on the way to Utley. Hit in the air to center field. And it falls in. Phillies a chance to score. And another run comes through. 
Philadelphia, what a thrust offensively making it happen. Now after two RBIs on that hit, we can see how the WPA graph is looking. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get it out. Schmidt at the plate. Well, they've done themselves quite a job here. This is a nice push at this point of the ball game to get out in front. Well, you have to credit this lineup, Gary. And some quality at bats right now and taking advantage of the opportunities, and now they have a lead. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the first pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. And he's there to retire the side. They pick up three here on three hits in strand one. The Phillies gaining the upper hand here. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Swing and a high drive to straightaway left field to the wall. This one off the wall. He's heading for third. A lot of times when you think of a triple, you're thinking of runs batted in. One or possibly two. But this time he's the only guy in base. But he's leading off this inning with that triple and a chance for a big inning. Number nine spot at the plate again. He's in his fifth MLB year. No outs, runner ready to come home from third. Pitch on the way. Here's a strike, lunged for that bunt and missed it. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. One away. Here comes the runner for the plate. A run comes home. One run on that one, so we get to see what that does on our win expectancy chart. With runners in scoring position, you need to do something to get them in. He didn't have to get a hit. He knew all he had to do was find a way to keep it in play and pick up an RBI. It's going to be Johnson now. Whoa, it is happening now. It may be a little late, but then again, they've got momentum, Steve. That's a good piece of hitting we saw right there, Gary. Quality at bat, coming up with a big hit to tie this one up. There are big at bats, and that was one of them. Base is empty with one away. First pitch on the way. Strike Called one. strike. 0-1. Oh you know, Gary, talk about big at-bats. Well, in those at-bats, you have to battle. And that's what they're doing. And they now have shifted the momentum. Let's see if it can continue. The pitch. And he takes a called strike on the other half. Nothing in two. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Good decision. Fastball is a waste pitch that time. One and two. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. Fastball, it catches a little dirt right there. He doesn't go after it. One's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. Three two on the way. Line drive. Two down. And it's Smith batting. Struck out swinging his last time up. Two.
Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. Looked like the cutter that time for a called strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Ball. The pitch. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. That misses down in the zone, two and one. There's a swing, and that one's hit on the ground. Throws to first side, is retired. They pick up a run on one hit, nobody left. Die ball game here in Philadelphia. Middle of the lineup, due up. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Williams gets too close, that'll be taken for a ball. Swung on, a fly ball down the left field line. Bell makes the play on the fly ball. One away. Ryan Howard's batting now. There's one away. His batting average, lifetime, 310 against the Marlins. This is his first season since his rookie year in 2005 where he did not hit 40 home runs, partly due to injuries, partly due to the second half struggles. And now Howard gets set. A shot up the middle, and that is in there, the go-ahead run on board. Guys, we're talking about Ryan Howard. I mean, he is still a feared home run threat, even though he had 31 last season. Hey, he only hit 31. Trade him. Trade him. I tell you what, I'll still keep him. I think he's got a chance to hit 50 again in the short term. One out, runner on at first. Here's the first pitch. Fastball swung out and missed, 0 and 1. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Swings on the 0-1 pitch. Can't hit it. Strike two. Up the middle. And he gathers this one. The second for one. On to first. Safe. Can't get the back end of that one. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. Now their rookie center fielder lined out in his last at bat. Runner on first, two away. And here's the delivery. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. Second pitch, waves at the fastball, and suddenly it's strike two. Change up got him, and the side is retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Marlins four, Phillies four. Six slide up at the plate again. He's ready to start out here in the sixth inning. And the first pitch. Ball. 
Fastball is downstairs. One ball, no strikes. Now the 1 0 pitch. The right center. And the play made by Utley. Leonard gets a turn here. One for two in the ballgame. Nobody on base, one away. First pitch. Pitch in the dirt, blocked by the catcher. Here's the pitch. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. That fastball is in for a strike. Two and one. For that good running action on that cut fastball, you think you're going to center it at the heart of the plate. It just moves off to the corner. He didn't offer. Oh, That's off the plate away. Three and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. Towards the middle. It is through, and the go-ahead runs on board. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one-out base hit. And Bell's in the box. Uh, Gary, I mean, we look at that. That's going to be a tough loss for this team. I mean, a key player like that going down to an injury, such a critical component to this team's offense and defense. One down, runner at first. Now the first pitch. Ground ball. Up with it. Utley for one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. Lloyd is the batter. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Bell's the runner at first base. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do some damage on, but unfortunately, the pitcher gets the strike. The hitter couldn't swing the bat. On the way. Catcher can't control it. Gets away from him, going to the backstop. Runners will advance. So they can't make the play. But Gary's to make the error right there. You just don't want to do that. It's just not good baseball. Strike two. Ah, good moving cutter. And it's one and two now. Now two strikes on the hitter. They're a strike away from getting out of this jam with the game still tied. One two pitch coming. And he pops it up. Should have room back there. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Deadlocked here in Philadelphia. Shortstop up. He'll lead it off. Home half. We're in the sixth. First pitch is a changeup. Looked at 0 and 1. This is why changing speeds is so important for a pitcher. You get the hitter off balance even more effective when it's down in the zone. One Takes one. one off the plate to even the count at one. And here's the pitch. Off the ground, played by Johnson. In time for the up. Look at the teams who led the league in slugging last year. Brought to you by State Farm. The Reds, number one. Second, the Rockies. In third, the Brewers. Fourth, D-backs. And number five, the Phillies rounded out.
Well, anybody can be pitched to. The, the problem is with this team, one of the top slugging percentage teams in the league last year, is when you make a mistake, they seem to end up for extra bases with this club. Everyone in this lineup has some sort of power. Even if it's not home run power, they have gap power. And that's a vital part of any team's offense. Ball! And Hamilton watches that one outside. Here's the 1 0. Oh. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. He sends this one in the air towards center. Out number two. Up again now, the number five spot. Single and scored his last time around. Base is empty with two outs. And the first pitch. Can make contact on that bunt attempt. That's a strike. He delivers. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. Right. Swinging and a miss, and it's now 1-2. and two. The one-two pitch. Oh. Swung on, fouled away. You're oh, out. man, there's the big bender. Struck him outside, retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. Die ball game here in Philadelphia. Here's Gibson now with an opportunity at the plate. Grounded out last time. Here's the first pitch. He swings down. Really hit that. Out of here. A home run. And a solo home run that breaks the tie. Big clutch homer. There is a graph that shows us what that solo home run means for their chances on the WPA graph. Anytime you give the team a lead late in the game, it's going to make the manager very happy. You think that's what it's all about, making the manager happy? No, sometimes making the general manager happy is the more important thing. <laughs> His name's on the check. <laughs> Big inning for the Marlins right here. They needed this. They got it. And now they're going to see if they can't tack on some more runs. No outs and nobody on. And here's the first one. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. And Steve, the bullpen celebrating a little bit. They did their job, and now the run put up that gives the pan a chance to have a win. Well, I tell you, you love going to the plate with a chance to be the hero, and he was the hero right there. Great job. 0-1. Fastball and a called strike. Well, it's like a ping-pong match watching the, the numbers go back and forth and the offenses go back and forth here, Gary. I tell you what, somebody's going to have to get out there and get somebody out and put up some zeros. Here it comes. Popped up. Should be playable behind the plate. And he'll put that one away for out number one. Nice play by the catcher that time. Came out of the crouch, picked up the ball, 
then tossed his mask and made the catch. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Swung on, liner to right. And in there, he's two for three today. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside, go the other way. First with one down. And here's the delivery. Hit in the air to center field. Two away. And it's Smith batting. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. A runner on first with two outs. And the first pitch. There's a ground ball. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. And he did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. Two men on and two men out. First pitch on the way. Fastball in there, 0-1. It's always important to get that first strike in there late in the game in critical situations. at a fastball in there and it's quickly 0-2. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. Cutter thought he had him, but it's 1-2. and two. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Swing, and that one hit Hamilton. And that's going to do it in this half inning. They pick up a run on the homer, and they take the lead. Marlins jump out ahead in this one. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast, with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. First pitch on the way to Utley. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Lloyd. That's one away. State Farm leaderboard. Uh, look at the teams with the most runs produced from last year's season. Number one, the Reds. Second, the Phillies. In third, the Rockies. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Braves rounded out. Well, this is a pitcher's dream when you have an offense like this on your side. You know you're going to get a ton of runs. You don't have to be so precise. You can let runs score because you know your offense is going to pick you up. The good thing about this team is they like to score runs. They like to score them early in the game. That gives your team a lot of confidence. Base is empty with one away. He deals. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. You now Gary's still dealing with that one-run differential. One out here in the seventh inning. And again, I think it's about making plays right now and offensively force the issue. Get somebody on base and put the pressure on the pitcher. 
Mm, gets him to commit to that pitch, and he's down 0-2. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it, got him to swing right through it. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Well, you like to see your pitcher strike guys out. You like to see him keep the pitch count down. He did both. Big smile in the dugout over there. That's a domination in that effort by the pitcher. Now State Farm takes a look at who had the most triples last year. Number one, Jose Reyes. Second is Carlos Gonzalez. Third, Matt Kemp. Fourth spot held by Ryan Howard. And sitting number five, it's Andrew McCutcheon. Well, the most exciting play in baseball is the triple. You watch a guy hit it, it leaves the, leaves the batter's box, and you can tell he's flying around first, not even thinking about stopping at second and going into third. But this guy right here is one of the more exciting players because he does it as well as anyone in baseball. That big triple to help score runs for his team. A 1-0 now. Ball. This is below the knees. Ball two. Oh, two outs here in the seventh inning. You need to make a play behind your pitcher. He's going to pitch to contact. Somebody's got to step up, make the play, get the out, and then get back in there and see if he can score some runs and add on to your lead. Here's the pitch. Watches that curve in the strike zone. Now it's 2 1. Here he comes. 2 1 pitch. 2 1 pitch, a fastball. Outside, 3 and 1. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to 3 and 1 and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. Fastball is in there, now 3-2. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it go by. Now the 3-2 pitch. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, you know the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. Well, late in the game right here, I mean, you look for mistakes, you look for what you can capitalize on. That walk now is the tying run on base. Hit sharply towards the hole. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. The Marlins still out in front. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. Leonard is the batter. He's going to lead off here as we go to the eighth. And here's the first one. Now swinging a shot towards second. In time for the out. And Bell's in the box. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there, down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Here's the 1-0. Hit in the air to left center. The catch. And he has it for the second out. Well, this ball is headed to the gap, but the left fielder got a good jump on it, able to run it down and make the play. Lloyd at the plate. He's had one hit four times up. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Ball. 
Pitch on the way. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. The 1-1 one -one on the way. Played by Utley. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. And here come the Phillies. This is going to be the home half of the eighth inning. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. Lead up man in the box again. He's going to lead off the home half of the eighth. First pitch to him. Swung on, line to right field. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Runner on first. First pitch, here it comes. Too far outside, 1-0. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. The 1-0 pitch. And he looks at a fastball in there, 1-1. One one. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. The 1-1. One, one. There's a high drive. Hit deep into left field. This one way back. Gone! A two-run homer. Great turnaround for him. A two-run homer. They lead by one. Anytime you give the team a lead late in the game, it's going to make the manager very happy. You think that's what it's all about, making the manager happy? Well, sometimes making the general manager happy is more important. <laughs> His name's on the check. <laughs> a lot of pressure on the opposing pitcher now. This relentless Phillies offense has put them out in front, and they're looking to add on some more. Good execution by the Philadelphia Phillies getting the big hits when they need them. Base is clear, no outs. First pitch on the way. Hot shot towards the hole. Safe at first. He barely beat it out. You just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Runner on first, no out. Here's the pitch. Strike Trying to bunt his way on board. Misses. It's a strike. Here's the delivery. And he lays one down here. Got one. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play. Not quite enough time to get it. Well, in this situation, you have to get the bunt on the ground. You can't jab at the ball. You have to catch the ball on the bat. One out man on first. And here's the first one. Ball. Fastball taken high. 1-0. Oh. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Ball. Inside with the fastball, 2-0. Oh. There's the 
Here's a swing and a ball hit well. Straight away, center field. A little distance now, increasing their lead, one to three. So two runs score on the long ball. The draft tells the story. We'll take a look at the win expectancy chart. Well, another home run right there. That's two now. So really, this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. Now, oh, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch them later. Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way to Utley. Ball. Fastball misses away, one and all. Well, these multiple lead changes can really take a toll emotionally on the team. You feel like, hey, we're back out in front again, and then your pitcher goes right back out there and gives it up. That's tough to handle. Here's the 1-0. One now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. Here's a look at the matchup numbers. 3-0-1 off the Marlins. The 1-1 pitch. He watches the 1-1 pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Chase Utley not fooled by that pitch. Count is even. Ball three. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher, took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Three two on the way, and on that one he'll up his on base percentage. That's ball four. Well, his patience really paid off there, and it can pay big dividends now if somebody come up with a big hit. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. One out, runner on at first. Here's the first pitch. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Here's the delivery. That's low and outside, one and one. Here's a called strike on the outer half, and it's one and two. Uh, he's got that power curveball working. When you throw it away from the hitter with that kind of consistency, you're going to be successful. There's a ground ball. He snares it, and there's one. And two. They pull off the double play, but not before they tally four times thanks to two home runs in the inning. The Phillies gaining the upper hand here.
Here's Gibson now with an opportunity at the plate. He homered earlier in the ball game. Number 40 is called on to do the hurling now as they make the pitching swap. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And Hamilton makes the catch. Well, offensively right now, you're running out of time down to your final two outs. And it's all about getting people on base and then let somebody run into an extra base hit. One run at a time, one base runner at a time, but start to believe you can do it. One out, nobody on. Ball First one. pitch, way out of the zone, ball one. He delivers. Swing and a ball popped foul to the left side. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. Fastball got him two down. Well, this punch out right here will keep this game close as it gets later and later. Took only four pitches on that at bat to get him out of there. Man, not a quality at bat right there. He didn't make the pitcher work. He got out of there quickly. Number three slot up again here. Two for three thus far. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. Right one. Fastball misses low that time, 101. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. He makes contact, line drive. That should be a base hit. Well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. going to be Johnson now. He flew out his last time up. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch to him. Ball Can't one. get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. One zero now. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at one zero one. In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. The one and one. One one pitch. Fastball. That's going to be low. Two and one. Here it comes. Strike Lays two. off that fastball. It's a called strike. Two and two. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. Ball fastball three. misses high, and it's full. Three-two. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Four-seam fastball up in the zone. The full count pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Pokes the walk out of him. 
Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at-bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. As an athlete, you live for moments like this, Gary. Got a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. Well, I'm going to keep an eye and see how aggressive they're going to be to try to get back in this game. Speed out there at second base. Let's see if they put a potential double steal on. Two down. Runners at first and second. And Smith in the batter's box. First pitch. And he holds off with the pitch low, 1-0. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Ready with a 1-0. I think he lost the feel on that slider, and it's 2-0. Oh. Here's the pitch. And a fly ball, and this could be it. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. But well, Philadelphia gets the win today, and a, a good all-around effort by this team. Showed up to play, and go away with the victory and it's time to present the player of the game award yeah i mean this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today couple of hits and he went big fly all in all it adds up to a nice day's work and they come away on top Steve, that ought to send these folks home now. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K Sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.